disclaimer, the procedures in this video is based on my experiences and understanding according to the instruction manual on board the vessel. The purpose of this video is to give an idea to people who are not yet familiar with the works, still studying, and those who are thinking of starting their profession. So always observe po tayo sa safety, doing maintenance works, and repairs na rin. So always refer po tayo sa manuals provided by the maker. So safety first po tayo. Guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I would like to share my low insulation experience especially in this uh, 440 volts AC every electrician on board the ship uh, I think already encountered such alarms especially low insulation What I'm using here now is uh, insulation resistance tester unit T. I have connected already the ground or, or earth. Now I'm checking the connections of my tester to have an accurate reading. Now I'm gonna use thousand volts because of the the length of the wire from the panel to the motor outside Here I'm going to test the foreground to see if my reading in my tester is accurate. And also you can hear a buzzer sound. That means uh, grounded to earth now I'm going to test each uh, leads going to the motor outside the crane so I'm expecting the reading would be very low because of the alarm that we are having and the control panel I am also checking now if which motor is having this low insulation whether it be in the hoisting motor or the slowing operation motor 
since the panel only in the control room detects only which equipment is having low insulation so now we can distinguish whether uh, whether or which one of the two is having this low insulation so that we can rectify now having opened this panel outside we can see that the terminals are some are clean and some have traces of corrosion due to wear and tear or the weather outside now through visual inspection we can see that there's a, there is a problem but uh, it's better to make uh, insulation testing to clarify and to make assumptions on on what to do next as you can see there is corrosion present and now we are going to test again using the insulation resistance tester to finally distinguish what is the problem and how to rectify it Low insulation on equipments outside is about normal due to climate and weather exposure, especially on heavy rains and strong winds. That's why we should, upon dealing with these equipments outside, they should be old weather proof and and should be covered properly to be protected upon cleaning and isolating the corroded portion and line we have a good reading so it's now a good chance to put it all back together After testing before handling any connections, please de-energize the leads and contacts to prevent you from any shocks. Now it's time to energize the system and again turn all back to normal operation and still advice to be observed.
guys thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share to my youtube channel and please comment and share your thoughts and help me grow my youtube channel thank you